Hmm. A helicopter. Okay, well, let's see. I wonder where that's going to take me then. Just going to keep on going and figure something out here. Because, you know, my yellow friend, yellow acquaintance is gone as well, so, oh shoot. I missed that one completely. Ooh, now it's storming over here. Oh my god, he didn't grab onto it. Okay, I can't see. Wow, look at that. The storm is really messing with- oh, oh look at that. Ah, oh, shoot. I fell all the way down. is like all like eerie now or, or not eerie but more like sad but it's like wow the game just changed like tones completely oh my gosh ah oh, damn it I really thought there was more to that right there okay didn't even grab onto that I don't know what that was all about See if we can find that damn thing again, or something. I mean, I'm pretty sure we will. Oh god. There we go. Hang again. And just keep going right. Again, this part's pretty bland. I mean, aside from the stormy rain, it's kind of just the same as the beginning of the game. It's just a bunch of trees, and like that's mostly it. Okay, I think it's not light anymore. It's getting day at least, so we can see things a little bit easier now. There we go. And now it's stopped completely. But I'm waiting for something new, you know, a new gimmick or something in the background. Something new, not just trees. Something fun. Chapter 8, New World. Alright, oh, here we go, finally. So it's more people here, okay. That's what we can figure out. Hmm. I 
Oh, I mean, this part's a lot happier, definitely. Keep on going. So we are now in the third to last chapter of the game, I believe. At least that's what it seems like according to the, you know, little dots up on the on the top whenever we get to a new chapter. Alright, I know I should be talking more, but like at the same time, like, I don't know, it's like a very mellow type of game of just like pure enjoyment of like background and the vibrant colors and stuff, so. And because, you know, I'm kind of just doing the same mechanic over and over again now. I'm kind of running out of things to say, oh my gosh. That's crazy, I never thought I was going to say that, but apparently... Okay, so it looks like we got past the, um, oh shoot, past the, the village. Oh, actually there's more village here. You know what's interesting? Because, like, so I mentioned in the beginning, in the, like, in the title screen, that this game definitely, like, heavily reminded me of, like, Ori, at least visually how it looks in some ways. Which, I mean... Honestly, it sort of still does, like, not literally to the point where, like, because Ori, despite it being a 2D platformer, basically a 2D Metroidvania, um, oh boy, can I make that? No, the answer is no. Okay, so there, you have to get to the top. All right, you cannot make that from the bottom. But yeah, despite it being a, um, you know, a, wait, hold on, let me tap that. Where am I starting? I actually want to focus so I can make that jump before I talk about this because I, I need to make sure I have the highest ground possible. Which would probably be, let's see, if I go like this. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I needed that high ground. Shit. Oh my god, I'm playing really badly right now. I'm going to be in the same situation as before. Wait, hold on, hold on. This will get me up. Yes. I'm back up, I'm back up. I gotta stay to the top. Shit. I missed it again. Go, 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 go. Damn it. I'm trying to get up. I'm not gonna do it. There we go, there we go. Wait, where the hell am I? I died that far back? Seriously? Oh my god, that was a humongously long checkpoint. Anyway, uh, what I was saying before... Uh, please pan to the right camera, please. Or not, it's not really the camera, it's more so like... Because in 2D platformers there isn't really a camera. But yeah, what I was saying is that... You know, Ori is basically, it's a 2D platformer, but a 2D Metroidvania game specifically. But visually, despite it being a 2D platformer, like the character models and everything in the background is like a 3D environment almost. Like here, yeah, there's a background, but you can tell that the graphics of these characters are not actually 3D. That's the main difference. But visually, it does at, still, at least still look like, like the colors and like the atmosphere and stuff similar to a game like Ori, you know? Um, what's also interesting, I don't know if y'all knew this, because I was going to say this game in some ways also resembles, like, The Lion King. Uh, again, visually. As so you can see inspiration from it. Um, for Ori, the developers actually admitted, they just straight up, you know, they were just transparent about it. They're like, yeah, we took inspiration from The Lion King. Which actually makes sense to me. It really does, because if you play a game like Ori and the Blind Forest, or Ori and the Will of the Wisps, you can clearly see, I mean clearly, see the ties into that, you know, like thematically. 
And so this game in some ways also is kind of like that to me. In some ways it reminds me of that, or even things like Tarzan, you know? Which, yeah, I'm just mentioning a bunch of Disney movies right now. But, but it's true, you know? Like, to me it's true at least. So, I don't know. Just thought I would say that, you know, in case you were curious about that. But I guess what I'm saying is I wouldn't be surprised if the developers, you know, just straight up said that like, oh yeah, like, we've taken inspiration from that, you know, like, yeah, I, I would believe it a thousand percent, like, immediately. Holy shit, dude. This might get a little rough here, but we gotta be careful. Just make it past these difficult areas and we'll be fine. Okay. Oh shoot. See, that was an awkward one. That's what I keep talking about. Sometimes, depending on where you release, you will land into an awkward spot guaranteed. So it's a little... Oh, look at that. Yeah, so... Never fully implemented the backdrop. I mean, I still have time. I'm only in Chapter 8. I could still do the rest of Chapter 8. And then going into Chapter 9... And then chapter, what the hell is that? Are those, are those cats? Or are they monkeys? Oh shoot, I just saw a helicopter in the back. Are they gonna come at me again? I think they are. Hmm. Gotta get the high ground again. Let's go. I'll take this one, sure. There we go. Yeah, so, so like, 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 look at that sun thing back there. You know, like that right there, that view reminds me of the Lion King. That's all I'm saying. Like, to me, it looks like that. Whoa. But yeah. Hmm, there's more of those like cars or trucks or whatever. They resemble those like same humans almost. Yeah, like, see those trucks? The same humans that were hunting us down. It could be them, who knows? It actually could be them. There's a very good chance it could. Oh, what in the world? We made it to a, um... Okay, I can't actually... There we go. No, get up there. Get up there, dude. Get something. I do not want you ever staying down at the bottom because who knows what's going to happen, man. Oh, didn't make that one. Damn it. Okay, the game is lagging. <laughs> I don't think it's able to handle this really well. Chapter 9, Concrete Jungle. We actually made it to chapter 9, I can't believe that. Just making it through. Whoa, I did not think I was going to be able to... I really thought I was going to ha hang on something to the top, but I actually didn't. Okay. Let's go. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> that was a really big area right there. Oh my god. I... Wait, why is this called Concrete Jungle? I literally just realized that. Concrete Jungle. Yeah, I'm in a huge town or city or whatever. Hmm.
right? I have noticed that some of my favorite things to hang on to are those double red ropes. I, I usually go to those whenever I see them. They're just easy to get across because they're usually just straight lines and you go fast through them. So like it's kind of nice to like just use them. We have to like these, like all this stuff here. That one's gonna... Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that one wasn't really a good one. So, here's one of the weird things about this game. I guess I'll just give this critique now. The difficulty is all over the place. Um, I mean, I don't think this game was ever meant to be difficult, but there are some chapters that you could argue are tougher than these. What I mean, if you take, if you think back, I think it was chapter 4? Chapter 4 was a chapter where, like, the whole damn thing was on fire. And you had to constantly keep avoiding areas on the ground that were lit up by fire. And then chapter, I think it may have been 6, where there were those guys shooting at you. I think chapter 6 is the toughest chapter in the game so far. Because you had those guys shooting at you, and I ended up dying like 3 or 4 times in that section. But, the last two chapters, which have been 8 and 9, have been extremely simple. It's just been in a town or a city, just going on top of buildings and some huts down here and everything, and there's no obstacles, there's no enemies that are trying to hunt you down. There's been very few areas where you could actually like fall down and die, you know? So I would argue that chapters 8 and 9 are actually some of the easiest chapters in the game, aside from like chapter 1 and 2. Like they're so easy, they're super simple. And so... I'm just like, what the heck? Like, the difficulty is not consistent. I, I'm, I'm sure they meant it like that because I don't think this game was ever meant to be like a hard game anyway. But I'm just saying, you know? It's, it's kind of weird in some ways, definitely. Like, the whole like, random spikes, you could say. So whatever, it's just like, I guess you could say it's just like more of a minor critique. But, it's not too big of a deal, I would say. Cause like, yeah, you know, we got this, the concrete jungle thing, like, oh, what the hell? There's a helicopter. Like, a while ago, so, you know, the chapter 9 appearing, so like, I'm pretty sure that I'm already like, past halfway through this chapter. And like, so far nothing has really happened, it's just me going forward in these random places. I just have... Oh, I can't actually hang on to that, huh? But yeah, I'm sure you get what I mean. The hell? Oh, I was like, what the hell was that? Okay. Oh Jesus, I actually almost died right there. I almost fell right in between both. Well, I think I did, but I grabbed onto a pole. That's what it seemed like. What the hell? Chapter 10, Lion's Den. We already made it to Chapter 10? Are you serious? It, it... Okay, well I can't... I'm trying to get up there, but I can't... Okay. Yeah, I can't really get that... Oh my god, the game is lagging so badly, too. It seems like you don't want to be in the ground, though, because you're kind of, like, dying. You see how your monkey sometimes does that, like, panic thing? That. Because you gotta be careful usually. Well, I'm definitely gonna make this series at least three videos. So, like, if this really is chapter 10 and we finish in the next five minutes, then that means I'm gonna actually have to cut part one to much earlier than 40 minutes. I didn't think it was gonna be that fast. There you are.
Hmm. I saved you. Oh, Jesus. Look at all these. It's all still cutscene, so... Hmm. That's nice. We, uh, we got out of there, that's for sure. We escaped those people. Wait, wait, hold on. Is this the end of the game? No way. Gibbons are amongst the most vulnerable and endangered species alive. Whole families are eradicated in order to capture and exploit a single baby for social media field tourism. Their habitats are actively destroyed by the palm oil industry, mining companies, and illegal loggers. We can change this. <laughs> Make a difference. Gibbon conser Conservation Society to give me Oh yeah, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you know, but this is based on like true like facts and evidence this game. About, you know, this whole like, you know, endangered species and stuff like that. But Chapter 10 was like literally one minute long or two minutes long. I didn't think it was gonna be that short. So the game actually I mean I beat it in over an hour. I'm just going to split this into about three videos of about 20 to 25 minutes each, I'm guessing. And that's going to be pretty much it for the most part. The game is 15 bucks, but um, as of now it's 25% off, so it's closer to like 10 bucks. It's like 10 50 or 11 or something like that. Which, you know, honestly is not... I don't know, like, for that length, it should be more like a $5 game, but... I mean, whatever, I guess 10 was not horrible, but... Yeah, so let's see here. What's going on in here? Oh, there we go. Game direction, creative direct. Yeah, okay. Well, that's essentially the game. Um, it's like I said, it, it's it's a fun little game. It's a cute little game. Um, it's nothing crazy at all. It's it's very simple. You know, the game is mostly just L and R. You have a backflip if you want to do, which I never really used it. You don't really need to do that. The main thing is climbing. You do have to do that. But um, outside of that, like, it's a pretty simple game. You don't ever have to move left or right. The game is an auto scroller. So you're just holding R, holding L, and releasing it at the right time, and that's essentially it. And. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. The, the gameplay is overall nice, but it can be repetitive. Some people, after playing it for like maybe 20, 30 minutes, will be like, this is just so repetitive. And they might put it down. It's possible I can see that argument and that critique. I don't fully agree with it, because I did think it was at least a little different in terms of like what things you're climbing on in the background and stuff like that at different points. But I can at least see, you know, you have complete things adventure. Why don't you take a break and come back tomorrow before starting Lolax Adventure? So from what I know, I think it might actually be the same thing. It's just, yes, it's just liberate, liberation. Um, I don't know, but that you know, might just be a bonus thing. We can actually go into, um, we can select chapter. Well, that's cool. You get the chance of, you know, getting these eight different chapters. So that's, that's pretty nice, I guess. How do you go back? Oh, gotta go down right here. So yeah, um, liberation here is... Yeah, but it's, essentially it's gonna be the same, similar thing. Alright, well anyway, I'm just gonna end it here, so. Before this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye everyone, have a great day.